Hi, everybody. A big weekend happening here at Lucas Oil Stadium with the state high school football championships. The big game is Saturday night. It's a rematch. North side against south side. Westfield taking on Center Grove. All right, here's the big question. Can anybody stop the Trojans? Center Grove is chasing their fourth state title in seven years. They've won 27 consecutive games, while Westfield comes into the championship with 12 in a row. The Shamrocks don't want to finish second again to Center Grove. We, we'd rather win if we're down here. So, you know, last year, as great of a season as it was, that, that's a rough ending to lose in the state game. Uh, we lost to the better team, but we'd love the opportunity to prove that we're the better team this year. To win this many games in a row, I can't even give you a word for that. You know, when we got here in the year 2000, we didn't ever thought probably we'd ever come back, and let alone being back seven times. And each time has, has been so special and so so many memories of so many great kids and great coaches and great players. Let's go Irish! In 5A, it's also a rematch from last year. Cathedral tries to defend their title against Zinesville. The Eagles are after their first state title since 1996. And the Irish beat Zinesville 14 zip during the regular season. They're the one team that I didn't want to face. And it's because we played them last year. Um, I think repeating is really hard. And then to play the same opponent the second time, it's really hard. In 4A, Mount Vernon making its first ever appearance in the state finals as they take on Northridge. The Marauders lead the state in scoring with 48 points a game as they try to make school history. A great opportunity, a great honor. Um, you know, uh, you know, I, I got fortunate enough to play for a state championship with my dad in 94 and we won. And, uh, you, know, you'll, you know, as high school athletes, the ultimate goal is in whatever sport you play is a state title. And um, so, you know, this, we, you know, we, we've, we've been talking, you know, these kids have talked about it. We, they know it's out there. Uh, but, but to get here is kind of the culmination of your entire, for some of them, your career. Uh, but the entire year of preparation they've gone through, the highs and the lows. In 3A, the Brebuff Jesuit Braves try to win their first state title as they take on Gibson Southern. The Braves beat three top 10 teams to reach the state championship. For my family, for me personally, it would be a, a really neat culmination. Coaching my son. Um, on the team. My father's coaching in a state championship himself out in the state of Oregon uh, this weekend. So uh, kind of family business, so to speak, but it, it's going to be a, a wonderful culmination regardless. And in single A, the Lutheran Saints backed at the championship for the second time in three years, trying to win their first ever state football title. They've been ranked number one most of the year with that perfect 12-0 record as they'll try to finish it off this weekend against Adam Central. And of course, we'll have lots of coverage of all the fun of the state finals right here on Channel 13. I'm Dave Calabro.